Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. We are here to make some more Asian food. Today we are making an Asian salad with soybeans and then also we are going to make goiza, which is Japanese and we call them pot stickers here. Now we could make them homemade. I've done it before. It's fun, but I'm going to show you a super easy way. It's called buying them at the grocery store. Now I get mine at the Asian market. You could probably find them at your regular grocery store. You can get vegetable, you can get pork and vegetable, chicken and vegetable. They have kimchi flavor. They have so many different kinds of pot stickers. So go to your freezer section, look in the international kind of area and see if you can find some. If not, then just look for an Asian market and they all have them. Okay, so here are the ingredients for our soybean salad. We're gonna start with shelled soybeans. I kinda wish I would've bought two containers, two bags of them, but I only bought one this time, so bummer. Now, this time I'm not gonna put any noodles in it, but you can put noodles in this and it would be delicious. Next, we're going to add our carrots, and I just used a carrot peeler and shaved them just to give them a cool look to them and not so much crunch. And then we have some Napa cabbage here. These are things I just had in my fridge, so you don't necessarily have to use these vegetables. You can use whatever vegetables you have. You can throw some broccoli in there. Um, this cabbage was left over from the meal I made last week and taped, so I thought, why not use it? And then I always have my green onions on hand, so I'm gonna put green onions in there. We're gonna throw in some cilantro. I might use more. And then this I've never used before. I bought some store-bought coconut uh, and just chopped it up even finer, which is kind of funny because I find coconuts on the side of the road all the time, so why would I you know, buy coconut when I can get it for free, but I did. And then I also love putting oranges in. Now you can um, buy normal like navels and section them. These are the little cuties. So instead of just peeling them off and throwing them in, after I peel them, I like doing one more cut just so um, the flesh is exposed inside. It's prettier. And then some of the juices are released into your salad. So we're gonna do that with, I think I have five little cuties here. And then also, we're gonna take one of my cuties and just squeeze it in here. Just for some extra deliciousness and citrus flavor. Okay, so the next step is our seasonings. So there's many options here. You could olive oil, salt and pepper this um, and just add more orange flavor and that could be your dressing. Um, I actually had um, some homemade peanut satay in my freezer. So I thought, oh, what a good way to get rid of that. You can do store-bought peanut satay if you like um, the peanut flavor and then crumpled some peanuts on here too would be delicious. You can get store-bought teriyaki sauce. You can make your own teriyaki sauce, which is just soy sauce, some sort of sweetener, sugar, brown sugar, honey, um, garlic, ginger, and stir that all up. If you wanna add some peanut butter in that, that would be delicious too. So we are gonna put in our peanut satay. Let me smell this. Oh, it smells delicious. Absolutely delicious. Now it's a little thick. The thing when you're working with peanut butter is um, when you put it in the fridge, remember peanut butter is gonna harden up. So just remember that, that it will stiffen a little in your fridge. So if you add noodles, I've had it where it's it's kind of stiff and I have to let it sit out a little bit. See how it's, it's kind of stiff? This is gonna take me a while to mix in. And before I start mixing it in, I'm gonna add some lime juice. And I may, to loosen this up, need to add a little soy sauce to it. That's great. If you wanna add any, you know, an almond, cashew, peanut, since I'm doing peanut satay, peanut would be the obvious choice for me. But those three um, kinds of nuts go great in Asian food. And this is just gonna take me a while. Okay, we're all mixed together here. I think what I'll do um, is it does need to sit for a while and let some flavors blend together, but I'm gonna try it. 
And then at the end, I'm going to put some chopped peanuts. You could do honey roasted peanuts or regular dry roasted and then put a little more cilantro. But let's give this a try and see what we're working with. See if we need to add a little extra. There I am. Okay. Mm. That is delicious. Totally wish I had another bag of soybeans because this is supposed to be a soybean salad, but it looks more like a cabbage salad, but that's all right. It's absolutely delicious. The peanut satay has a little spice to it. Oh, is that good? I will leave you the recipe for that peanut satay sauce. Man, that is excellent. So we're gonna let this sit for about an hour or so, and then we'll make our goiza. Okay, now we are on to our pot stickers. Here are mine. They say pot sticker on them, a pork vegetable dumpling, no MSG, which is awesome. And they say fully cooked. Now they're frozen. And um, so you just kind of, we are just going to cook them straight from the freezer. So let's get over to the stove and I'll show you how. Okay, we have our pan on medium. This is my all clad five ply, um, their D5 pan. It's amazing, has a great lid. I can't say more about this pan. Um, to buy this, there's a link down below in my description. I love, love, love it. Okay, we are going to put about maybe two table, well, about that much oil, two tablespoons in our pan. Just make sure your pan has the oil all around. And now we're going to add our frozen dumplings in. And we want them on this side so they stand up. We're going to let these cook for about three minutes. Make sure your oil's all around, do a little swishing. We want the bottoms to get brown. Okay, it's been two minutes, we can check one. No, nope, we're not brown yet. We're gonna turn our heat up just a little to medium high. No, nope, we're not even brown. We gotta get some browning on the bottom. My pan probably was not on the heat long enough before I put them in, so I have my heat turned up. Okay, let's check these. All right, now we have some good browning happening. Oh, beautiful. Not sticking to our pan. I tell you, nothing really sticks to this pan because it's just so amazing. Okay, our next step. This is gonna make a big sizzle, so I'm going to do it, explain it first. We are going to put, well, we're gonna turn up our heat to medium high, and we are gonna pour half a cup of water in here and put on the lid, all right? And because these are frozen, we're gonna let them go for five minutes, but you may wanna only let them go for three if they weren't frozen. And just let them go. Okay, mine did not go for five minutes. My water is almost gone. They feel soft. They still have a nice, beautiful color. So we want that water to evaporate and then they're done. We serve these with soy sauce and some sriracha. When you serve these, you're supposed to have the, the brown part showing. Doing it backwards there. Ooh la la, look at that. Okay, let's give these a try. I just um, served them up with the sauce on it. So good, so easy. I didn't even have to make them. Let's try the salad. Salad is very good too. 
Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. I hope you are enjoying these easy Asian meals and we'll see you next time.